Já vím, že hodně lidí v České republice nevěří v Boha a já to chápu. Um, Neúplně, um, protože vím, že vy jste měli takový, takové těžké zkušenosti um, v minulosti, um, ale já mám znalost o tom, že Bůh je náš nebeský otec, um, že Bůh existuje um, a že chce nám pomohat v životě. Um, já jsem teď ve období mém, v mém životě, když hledám vedení toho, jak mám žít v budoucnosti, um, třeba jak se mám živit, Um, jaké mám mít povolání a tak dále. Um, a tyhle ty rozhodnutí pro mě jsou těžké. Um, a já najdu úlevu a útěchu v tom, že vím, že Bůh, můj nebeský otec, může mě vést v tom. A může mi pomohat, abych rozuměl lépe, um, jak mohu úspěšně žít. Um, protože já vím, že nejsem tak schopný, že mohu to dělat. Um, a nejenom vím, že Bůh je můj nebeský otec, ale je i váš nebeský otec. Um, a že je stejně ochotný vám pomohat a vám poradit, jak je mi pomohat a mi poradit. Um, a moje nebo moje naděje uh, pro vás by bylo to, že byste <coughs> hledali um, Boha ve svém životě um, a snažili se lépe ho pochopit. Well, Czech is a Slavic language, which means it's similar to Russian, to Ukrainian, to those sort of languages. Um, and it's a difficult language. It's hard to learn. Um, we spend nine weeks in the MTC um, because of that. Um, luckily, it's not a different alphabet. It's the same Roman alphabet, just with a few, maybe three different letters. Um, but it's it's easy to, to understand that way. Um, my experience with it, um, I was fortunate and blessed that I didn't have too many struggles with it. Um, of course, at the beginning of my mission, I didn't understand anything, but I felt by my third transfer, which is um, four months out, um, that I was able to do all that I needed to as a mission, as a missionary. Partly that I was training at that point and I needed to. Um, so that was another blessing that I had the need to do it. Um, my recommendation for missionaries and for anybody learning that language is just to speak it. Um, my first and second transfers, I spent a lot of time talking with people in trams and stumbling and falling so many times trying to share the gospel with them. Um, but I'd just sit down, I'd turn around and say, hey, I'm learning Czech, can I, can I practice with you? Um, and somehow that would lead into the gospel. Um, so I feel like that was a, a very good um, help to me in learning the language. Um, it's just every time I stepped on a tram, I was talking to somebody. So, so I enjoy talking about the Czech language. But it's honestly not as hard as some people think it is. A lot of, especially the Czech people, they like to think that their language is one of the most difficult in the entire world. But honestly, it's very doable. It takes a lot of work, but it's doable. Um, I thought going into it that it would be impossible. And Really, the hardest thing to grasp is that it's just constructed differently than English. As soon as you can wrap your head around that construction, it's quite simple. 
and you, you can really get a grasp on it. Um, there's only three tenses, past, present, and future. Um, it's a phonetic language, so every single vowel and every single consonant sounds the same in almost every single instance that it's written or spoken. So it's very, it's very doable. Um, it's not impossible at all. People there say it's like the fourth hardest language to learn, but I think everybody likes to think their language is pretty hard because they're kind of proud of it. Um, but, and so the people are really understanding and really impressed when someone, especially someone who's native English speaker, learns Czech. Um, but there's a letter in it, it's an R, and then it has a little, it's called a hot check over it. It's like a little arrow over it. And um, it sounds like So it's like rolling your R, but then a Z at the same time. So it gets really hard. I remember in the MTC getting a little discouraged and I'd try it over and over and over again. And then I'd get it one time and be like, oh, the gift of tongues. And then I couldn't do it again. <laughs> so I'd have to keep practicing it. Um, so that's a little bit difficult and then of course with as in with a lot of languages you have to conjugate verbs based on who's saying it or who's doing it and then you also have to decline words based on whether they're the ones acting or being acted upon or to or things like that um, so it can be hard but it's so fun it's such a cool language they have more verbs than English, that's for sure. So, like, they have a verb for calling someone, but the other person doesn't pick it up. You just call it so they have your number. And it's prosvolni. And ever since I've been back, I've been like, oh, I wish we had a word for that. We don't. <laughs> so, it's a really good language.